Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we will discuss about SharePoint online list web part. So we will see here what is this web part, how we can configure it. And then I, I will show you how to do dynamic filtering in a SharePoint online list web part. So what I'll do here is I'll open the SharePoint site. You can see this is my SharePoint site. So here I have a list. I'll go to this. You can see here there is a training list uh, which is having some data over here. Title column category and training mode and duration. So these are basically the four columns that I have taken on this. And uh, I have also another list. You can see here training category which is having title column only and there are categories are there. Just to let you know that this is not a lookup column. This is a category column. Here is a column that I have taken as a choice column and added the values onto this. Now what we will do here is I will click over here and then create a page. So we will create a site page. You can see here choose the blank layout and then create page. So I'll just give a name for it. So I'll say learn about SP web parts. So I'll just uh, give a title for this page and uh, I'll go here. This is a default text web part. So I'll just remove it. And what I will do here is I'll click on this add button and then I'll search for list. So you can see here document library web part. Yesterday I have explained it in detail. So I'll put the link in the video description. You can have a look at this also. Now I'll search for list. You will see uh, two web parts here. One is list, another one is list properties. So select list web part. So you can see here once I added this list web part, I'll be able to see the list which are created in this SharePoint site. So in this case, you can see here training series list. I just selected and you can see here it is coming. So uh, we can use this web part to display a particular list in a site page. So if you want more, you can add multiple, uh, you know, list also in by adding another list to a part. But for one web part, you can add like this. Now I'll click on this edit web part and I will show you a few configurations on this. First one, you can see here there is a list. Uh, you need to choose the particular list here and then you can see here uh, the view. So you can also display items from a particular view. So I have one more view. You can see here SharePoint trainings and I'll select it. You will be able to, if I'll just click on apply, you will be able to see here that this is only displaying items from that particular view. So if you want to display items from a view, then you can use this option as well. And then folder, uh, yesterday I have shown you how in the document library, you can see that here I don't have a folder else. You can just type the name here, uh, whatever the folder name you have and it will display Play only items which are available inside that folder and then size you can see uh, the best one is you can choose auto size fit, fit into the number of items uh, else if you will select particular items then I'll just click on apply unnecessary space will come like this so let's not do that you can select auto size here and then this then you can see here another two options are there by default this command bar is enabled that is the reason you are able to see this new button edit grid view so that means user will be able to manipulate to this list from here so if you want to disable it you can simply uh, on this toggle button and click on apply you will your users will not be able to see this they can only uh, see the items which are available yet they cannot upload items from here so if they want to do then they have to go to the particular list and from there only they can do it and same way you can see there is a see all button so when you will click on the see all button it will basically open the library or the list so you can see here um, so what if you want to disable that one also there is a toggle button which you can select it and you can apply here and if I'll just publish this page you will be able to see here the data is coming from the particular view whatever I have selected and no uh, command bar and no see all also next one i will show you is how we can do dynamic filtering so for that i will edit this page again i will just uh, do one thing i'll just remove it and what i'll do is i will add two sections here and in one section i will add one list to a part and in this case i will just choose category and the other one 
uh, I'll go to the other section and I will add another list uh, web part and then here I'll choose training. So uh, now if you'll see here, I'll just republish this page. You can see I have two web parts in this page. One is category training category, which is having a title column, having this many items. And the other one you can see here trainings where I have couple of, uh, you can see here there are couple of uh, items on this. Now I'll click on edit. And I will go to this page because I want the appear to be the filter will be applied to this list. So I'll click on edit and then you can see here I will just do dynamic filtering on. Once you on it will ask you column in the training to filter. So what is the column that in this list you want to filter? In this case, I want category wise because my intention here is if user will select SharePoint, I should be only see SharePoint trainings. If user will choose Java and then I should, I will only, I should be able to see only Java column, Java trainings. And if user select both, then I should be able to see both items. So I'll select here category uh, and then it is asking list or library containing the filter value. So in this case, I have the training category you can see here and I will choose the uh, properties here title. So column containing the filter values properties is title. Now I'll click on apply and then I'll republish the page. You can see here by default all the items it is coming because we have not selected any item here. If I will select Microsoft.NET you can see here only .NET trainings I can see or the filtering is happening from that and if I'll select SAP with that you can see both .NET and SAP is coming if I'll unselect Microsoft.NET then I can only see uh, you know SAP related trainings on this. So this is how we can apply dynamic filtering on a particular page by using simple out of box options. So if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our YouTube channel you will get lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 technologies like SharePoint, our platform, all these things. So thank you and have a nice day.